in this day and age where there's so much high-tech stuff going on, I feel like we're losing touch with music and with performing arts. As long as we're human beings, we can't live without the arts. I mean, the arts are all around us. It's more important to, to get out there and play in front of people, to really connect with people in a, in a different way, a nonverbal way, in a spiritual way. I'm Shirley Muramoto. My koto name is Kazuyo. The koto is a national instrument of Japan. It came in the eighth century. It was first used in court music, which is called gagaku, and um, was primarily in the upper class for, for a long time until about the 12th century. Then koto started to be something that was played, kind of like the piano is, you know, in a Western tradition. Mayumi. That's a great solo. <laughs> I think you're better than all of us. <laughs> the strings are made of a nylon blend called Tetron. They used to be made of silk. Even though there's only 13 strings, it's quite versatile because you can change the tuning by moving the, the bridges. The wood is, uh, in, in Japanese, is called Kiri. It's empress wood or polonia wood. The koto is hollow, right? And it has uh, two sound holes on either side, right here at this side and then the far side. So that's how, you know, it's, it's that resonant. My grandparents and my mom and her sister were, they were in prison during World War II. My grandmother loved the, the sound of the koto, and um, so she wanted her daughter to learn something about the culture. My mom was about maybe 10 years old at the time, and so somehow at that uh, Tuli Lake, she was able to get a koto, but it had no strings, no bridges. So my grandpa made bridges, like this one here. This is the only one that survived. <laughs> it's a piece of wood and a toothbrush handle. I think he did a really great job because I can actually still use it. We're paying respect to all the people who came before us who who learned, who taught, who carried on the traditions. I'm just a part of that history, hopefully, and the traditions that we're carrying on. <laughs>